Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode 7 of my Citadel building series. Having finished the front mountainside in the last update, I was finally able to turn my attention to the interior of the base, and I got a lot done there, but before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge special thanks to our channel members, Daniel Ross Lego and Rich Boy J. If you want behind the scenes photos, early access to, or exclusive videos, then make sure to check out the channel memberships or my Patreon. The links will be down below in the description. Once again, I am incredibly thankful to Light My Bricks and their sponsorship of the series. They have sent me a bunch of products in their DIY range, which is what I am using to light up this mock. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you're always notified when a new video comes out. And with all that being said, let's get right into it. Starting off the progress portion of the video, I finally started working on the internal structure for the mountain. I had started with this Technic structure before I quickly realized I didn't have enough to go the full stretch and had to switch to Duplo. I extended it to the top of the mountain and added in a bunch of snot bricks so that I could make panels of bricks and tiles to cover up the side. I decided to go this route instead of just stacking bricks because it would save me a lot of one by bricks and go a lot quicker too. I made these panels that just connect onto the exposed studs like so. And just like that, this side section is all tidied up. Moving to the other side of the build, I knew that I needed an access panel to turn on and off the lights. I built up this wall with some snot bricks so the front mountain can connect directly into the side of the build. I made this panel the same as the ones on the other side, only it doesn't attach, it just sits in snug. I needed some pull tabs or handles to be able to remove it, so I added on these pipes, which I'm not terribly happy with, so I'll probably change them up. I want to keep the sides pretty plain because they aren't focal points of the build, so I think this is about the level of detail that I want to add here. I stuck these grates up top to balance out the pipes on the bottom, and I think they work pretty well. On the other side, I wanted to keep a similar level of detail, so I added these big exhaust vents with 3x3 round bricks and grill tiles. I've used this design before, and it's always a good bet when you need some mechanical looking detail. I was planning to leave the sides blank, but because I needed to be able to grab onto something for the access panels, I had to add in some extra bits and pieces here and there. I haven't done many time lapses in this series, so I pulled up a still from the Citadel on my iPad and decided to start working on the interior. I moved the battery box for the left side to the edge, so I needed to extend the bottom panel so that I could gain access. Making it big enough was easy, but figuring out the detail proved a lot more challenging. With that finally sorted, I moved on to the floor design for the inside of the base. I made a little box with tiles and bricks so I could place the pieces on their sides. I knew that I wanted to use 1x3 slopes on the edges and 1x4 tiles and dark bluish gray for the lines in the floor, but figuring out the middle sections took me a long time. I tried every combination I could think of, but still it just wouldn't work. Eventually I decided to call it quits for the day and come back to it with a fresh mind. This time I started getting somewhere. I kept the 1x3 slope as a base design and began messing with the spacing of the edges. I eventually figured out that using jumper plates on every other section gave me enough room for everything to fit snugly, so I attached the edges to the border and added in an extra plate of width to the middle and it worked out beautifully. I put some ingots on the ends and in between and finally had a floor design that I could use in the mock. Alright, so I made a bit more progress since the time lapse. As you can see, I made a prototype for the wall design. It's hard to get a good reference photo, but going off this screenshot, you can see a sloped light towards the bottom and a larger angled one at the top with three slits. I tried to capture both of these as well as I could, though I will say I took some creative liberties. In the show, there are big triangular lights in between every other section, but I think if I added those, they would just drown out everything else. So I'm just going to keep what I have here and expand on it. In the show, these lights are plain white and don't seem to affect the atmosphere at all. So I could have went for white plates, but I really want this mock to have lights everywhere. So I used TransClear instead. This proved to be a lot more difficult than I'd hoped because I had to leave the backsides exposed so light can shine through, but it was definitely worth it. I'm so excited to see what a full hallway with lights and the correct color pieces will look like. So I hopped on my computer and built it in studio to give myself a better idea of what it will look like and also to get a rough estimate of the parts that I'll need to order for it. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with it. I took a few renders for the thumbnail and it looks fantastic. 
The only thing missing is light shining through the clear parts, and there are a few inconsistencies with the show, but like I said before, I'm taking some creative liberties to make this build work the way I envisioned, and overall I'm very pleased with how this hallway is coming along. While I wait for the parts orders to ship, I went ahead and built the hallway in random colors, and I gotta say I'm really pleased with it. I also built the ceiling and managed to attach it to the wall, which I'm really happy about. I used some inverted slopes to add a little bit of height, and then made a roof with bricks attached in the back to some hinges. I added trans clear bricks so that I can have the whole stretch illuminated from above, as well as in the accent lighting in the wall design. At the front, I used some snot bricks so the ceiling won't sag, and it left a slight indent, which doesn't bother me too much, but I might throw in some grill tiles or greebling to clear it up. At first glance, it might seem like it's too cramped, but if you come down to a minifig's perspective, you can see there's plenty of room. I'll probably add in some commando droids on this end and recreate the scene where they get ambushed. It also works out because if I add another layer of rooms above the hallway, it will still be low enough for the landing pad to have the walls with the main door and turrets. I haven't quite decided what I want to build for the interior. I definitely want to have the prison cell with Tarkin and the other officers, and maybe a bit of the prison block leading up to it. I also initially wanted to build the slicing security doors and have them motorized, so I'll probably mess around with that. And someone suggested the magnetized ceiling that pulled Anakin up by his arm and electrocuted him, so that could be interesting too. I could also have a section of hallway with Anakin cutting through the wall with his lightsaber. There are a bunch of scenes to pick from, so I just have to decide what I like most and go from there. And if I missed a scene that you think I should include, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm a big fan of how the hallway came out, but I also don't want the whole interior to just be the same thing copied and pasted, so I'm definitely open to suggestions. As I mentioned last video, I'm running low on lights, so for the hallways I think I'll use fairy lights, because they don't need to thread through or go below any plates or bricks, and that way I can use the few lights that I have left for the lava in the extraction zone, and accent lights on the landing pad. Thanks to Light My Bricks, I have a few sets of light up lightsabers, so I'll sneak the wires through the floor and leave them there, so when I need to move the figs to a different scene, I don't have to rip up the floors and walls, I can just have another set of lightsabers waiting for them in the next location, so that's a huge blessing. I'm really happy to be finally working on the base after so long just focusing on the front mountain, although I will need to revisit the tower soon so I can build the backside and see about the searchlights. There might not be enough space for them to fit, so that will be something I'll have to look into as I get further along. Alright, that is going to wrap up episode 7 of my Citadel building series. I definitely think that the hallway is a step in the right direction, and I can't wait to get my hands on the correct color of parts so that I can see what that is going to look like in its final state. Like I said before, if you guys have any suggestions for scenes that you think I should do that I may have forgotten, definitely leave those in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have to say about the mock. Next video, I plan to continue working on the interior. I'm going to pick the scenes that I want to include so that I can start mapping out how much space I'm going to need vertically and horizontally for all of those, and also what kind of pieces I'm going to need to order, and hopefully that will lead to a lot more progress for you guys to see in the next video. If you made it this far, make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything related to the Citadel or other videos that I post here on the channel. But that's all I have for you guys today, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.